Good day, I'm Tana Sharma and I will be appearing for Acting Wave 3. I will be performing a monologue titled Science Fair by Jean Marie Williams. In this piece, Jethro, a 15 year old high school burnout, presents his science fair project to a panel of judges. This piece revolves on the themes of pride but at the same time distraction. Broccoli, it will grow better and produce more vitamins and make it more nutritious. For my experiment, I decided to measure the different effects of sun on three broccoli plants. Broccoli, as you all might know, or well, maybe not, but anyway, broccoli contains an electrical charge which, if stimulated in the right way, will produce better broccoli. Well, you couldn't really make a lamp out of it or anything. I tried that last year. Well, anyway, if you stimulate it in the right way, it will produce bigger florets and more vitamins. Yeah. So yeah, this is my broccoli. Okay, so here's the thing about it. You may have noticed that all these plants here look different. One is bigger than the Another is just okay, and the other one is pretty much just dead. Okay, yeah, so this is what I did. I maintained each of these plants in different groups. I exposed each of these plants to the same birds and tone of voice every day, five times a day. I said different things to each individual. But what I said to each plant was the same. Yeah, did you get that? Okay, good. <coughs> so here's what I said to this one. Okay, this is the exact thing I said to this one every day. I mixed it up a little bit, but this is basically the idea. You Jeff. Okay, let's 
one. Hmm. Let's listen to this. That's insane. 
Okay. Yeah, I can keep it a surprise. Okay, let's do that. Oh man, Bill is really gonna love this. So eggs, there we go. Stir it up nice and quick. Oh man, this is really tiring. But it'll be worth it, I guess. Okay, into the only you go. Um, Alright, 15 minutes. I guess that's good enough. What should I do to then? Oh yeah, I can look for a present. No, that, that one looks too good. Oh yeah, these might do. He also tends to phase out a bit 
because of him being a burner is when he enthusiastic about his broccoli. When he says what he said to the plant or the broccoli which is not dead, his feelings change to absolute disgust and unenthusiasm, unenthusiasm. And then he is talking about what he said to the plant, to the broccoli plant, which is not okay. His feelings are pretty neutral, but enthusiastic. And when he starts describing what he said to the broccoli plant, which is not good, his feelings change to love and absolute enthusiasm and lightness because this experiment of broccoli proves that proves his point and the theory that he came up with works. Question 4. Describe the imaginary surroundings in one of your pieces. In my first piece, Jethro is standing on a raised platform which could be considered as a stage. He is in the biology lab. To his left is a door. To his right are the panel of judges. In front of him is his class. Around the class, are a bunch of windows as well as some charts about biology. Behind him is a presentation about his science experiment on protein. Question 5. What did you consider to be the funniest or most dramatic moment in your pieces? What vocal or physical skills did you use to show that to the audience? In my first piece, when Jethro says what he said to the plant which is not dead. When he screams at the plant, die, 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 I consider that to be one of the most funniest, funniest moments in my piece because it's very funny, as I say. And he uses, I mean, I use pronounced hand gestures, I raise my voice, or I, I use something called voice projection, and I lower the pitch of my voice to make it clear that I want the plan to be dead. Thank you.